Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel, but if you're new, welcome. My name is Michelle McDaniel, I'm a personal trainer. A proud mother of a pug and a chihuahua. A past theater nerd on grown up cosplayer, and this is my channel. My thoughts will probably offend you where I share my thoughts, though will probably offend at least one person. Because whenever you share your opinion online, someone from the deep dark corners of the internet has to just slither out and tell you that your opinion is wrong because it's not the same as their opinion, and they are offended. I don't know what they want me to do with that information, but thanks for telling me. I don't care. Talk shows. Normally on a talk show, they bring interesting people with interesting backgrounds and stories to showcase on their show. And then there's Jerry Springer, which is a talk show on drugs. Question to my audience, do stereotypes offend you? You're saying yes over a couple people over there saying yeah. Oh, a lot of you are saying yes. Well, unfortunately for you, they are all over Jerry Springer. White trash stereotypes. I'm marrying my cousin. Hey, please meet Katrina. Katrina says she's pregnant and happy to be marrying the father of her child. Katrina, uh, who are you marrying? My cousin. Oh! This is your first cousin? Yes. Black people stereotype. My boyfriend cheated with my cousin. This is, this is your cousin. Why would you sleep with her boyfriend? I'm not trying to hear this sob, sad ass story. Well, and that's why you finna get your ass with me. LGBT, y'all ain't say I'm gay sometimes. I've been talking to this girl right now. I'm I'm straight. I'm a straight guy, but I'm gay sometimes. And uh, are we getting you on a good day or what? And we can't forget the classic meet my gay stripper boyfriend where this guy was in a relationship for a year and a half and decided to reveal who he truly was because he cared about her so much. So he did that by bringing her on Jerry Springer. And Amber, there's something that I need to tell you today. It's it's not going to work between us and I'm dating a stripper. And when they bring out the boyfriend, he comes out in true stripper fashion. You know, I was just reminiscing and thinking about when I used to watch Jerry Springer after school come home and just kind of like relax, turn on the TV, and there's Jerry Springer, and I knew if I saw a black woman on there, the wig is gonna be ripped off, thrown on the floor, and the crowd will go absolutely wild. As we see here, there are two black women with wigs on top of their heads. The fight gets set off with just one slap. They place their hands around their necks, which gets them closer to the hairpiece on the head. And just like that, both are ripped off and the fight continues. It's always the same formula. Two black women, the fight gets initiated. You wanna try? What up? <laughs> and the wig gets ripped off. And if we're lucky, it gets sent into the audience and the crowd absolutely loves it. It would be an odd day on Jerry Springer if a wig didn't get ripped off, revealing a beige wig cap upon a lady's head. Oh, the nostalgia. I feel it. And now it's time for you to feel it too. Unless you're super young and or didn't watch the show. And in that case, you will experience it. If you don't enjoy stereotypes being exploited, well, I don't know what to tell you because they really don't care. Let's check out Grandma Gonna Whooper, which plays on the whole trailer trash type stereotype. So Grandma here is not very pleased about who their grandson is dating. Well, my grandson met this old bitch in and the crowd is already fired up. Like, really fired up. And just look at the smirk on grandma's face. You know, we all know at least one elderly person who just loves to tell you when they disapprove of anything and anyone, and they have to make sure that everybody knows. So your grandson met this that type of old person is her, and she took it all the way to Jerry Springer. Well, I personally think that just little granny is upset that she, her grandson that she obviously loves is not spending as much time with her because he's in love with that W-H-O-R-E. I don't know if I can say that yet. If it is cut out and muted throughout this, then I had to re-upload and censor it out. But she just seems frustrated. She really wants his attention. What happened? Well, he's, he's different when he's with her. He ain't. You know, he, he acts all differently, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, she won't let him do anything. This is how she's trying to get his attention, bringing him onto Jerry Springer to just have a discussion with this young lady. And just, you know, let her thoughts be known and heard. And she ain't nothing but an old and I'm gonna whoop her eyes. Oh, okay, she's that type of grandma. The not so nice type of grandma. The type of, that will do what the title said. You don't want you don't want to be messing with grandma. So she's gonna whoop someone's butt cheeks just for the pure fact that she just doesn't like them? I'm gonna whoop her. Okay. Why do you call her a Cause she goes with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. She, can she go. goes with every Tom, Dick, and Harry? Yeah. But he's just got a big attitude when he's with her, and I don't like her. Well, Granny, that sounds like uh, your your grandson's issue. Sounds like he has a bad attitude. You can't blame the girl for him changing his attitude. Why does everybody have to blame the girl and call her a, a W-H-O-R-E? Huh, Granny, you lose a point. <laughs> 
Wait, hold up. I was expecting, you know, my anime nerds out there. You know how an anime, the old ancient sensei who looks extremely ancient, he's hunched over, he's got a cane, he's walking super slow. They won't even draw their eyes open, they're just like a tired old little sensei man. And for some reason, some younger, very big and buff dude wants to fight little old ancient sensei man. And the sensei's like, I might be old man, but I will defeat you. And the younger anime character's like, <laughs> old man, you are ancient. This will be no problem for me. But then the old ancient anime character rips off his shirt and they are oddly buff, even buffer than the opponent. They all of a sudden are no longer hunched over, throw the cane to the side, and stand about seven feet tall with throbbing calf muscles, and then they full on flatline the younger one. That's exactly what I was expecting with the amount of shit that she was talking in the beginning. Hey, she ain't nothing but an old bitch. And I'm gonna whoop her eyes. No, no, no. Instead, she does some slow ass moving hand swap and then just slowly shuffles across the floor following her. My expectations were too high and I watched too much anime. I will. I'll show you. I want you to because I don't think you can. She can't. He's 25. Well, 25, in fairness, 25, he's, a, he's an adult. Isn't he allowed to make his own choice? No, because he picks out everybody. Oh, some people are still figuring it out at 25 and maybe her son's still trying to figure it out but in granny's head he's stupid let's find out what johnny has to say wait why are people booing already <laughs> he didn't even come out yet what did Johnny do? What? Give him a chance. Oh, that's why they're booing. He has a mullet or a rat tail. I don't know, but the little goober has a rat tail or a mullet. And now I understand why they're booing. Boo! Boo! Your hair is weird. How dare you have a hairstyle I don't like, idiot. Boo! Anyway, they give him a little ultimatum. It's either me or her. Well, you know what? If you wanna, if you, if you don't love me enough to accept my grandma for who she is. Okay, so he is an idiot because grandma's been calling her a whore and that she's gonna beat her up. Why would anyone deal with that. That's not what grandmas do. Grandmas make you very comforting food. They ask you why you're so thin and then they feed you more food. They ask for grandchildren. They sell forks from buffets and when they get caught they say, oh I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just old. Grandmas nag you and tell you you dress like a boy when you're nine. Grandmas say you shouldn't wear pants. You should wear the dresses I bought you. Grandmas say you shouldn't wear your hair in braids, Michelle. That's not very cute. You should wear your hair in curl. That's not very girly. Grandmas love to say that your brother's perfect, Michelle. He's a prince and will grow up into be a king. What are you gonna be when you're wearing pants? They look at you like this when you're just minding your own business. Huh, it seems I have some past trauma with my grandma. On my dad's side, you guys know the background with that. God rest her soul, but damn, was she evil to me. And she sure as hell would have brought me on Jerry Springer. But instead, she would just yell at me. Anyway, who's he gonna choose? Screaming lady or angry grandma? Grandma. And she just ends up walking out because who's gonna accept a grandma like that? I'm sure it feels absolutely fantastic to win a mullet goober grandson. Goobers run the world. Past guests ready for a beatdown. And I can guess that there's a 110% chance that a wig is gonna be ripped off and thrown on the floor because Jerry Springer absolutely loves that. So this young woman just watched the show and fell for someone who was just on the show. Well, you know, Jerry, I watch your show from time to time. And I just, <laughs> I just happened to see, you know, this episode about this ugly old lady talking about she controlled her man and all this stuff. And he looked good to me. A love at first sight type of thing. So this lovely couple was on Jerry before working out their issues. A 38 year old woman with a 20 year old man. Can't see how anything would go wrong with that one, especially if you're going to Jerry Springer. And look at that, he cheated. I believe he's cheating on me. I'm 20 and I've been trying to get away and you know, do my own thing. Charlie! Ah, uh, it looks like my theory is checked out. The wig is already off. And I'm absolutely sure it will happen again. Because this young woman seems extremely upset that this cougar is with the man of her dreams that she saw on daytime television. And now wants to beat her. <laughs> oh my God, look at this fight stance. She ain't playing. And this old cougar about to eat your ass just so we're clear, they are fighting over a man that cheated on her and a guy that she never met. I ah, told you, let's pour some out for the wig that got ripped off and thrown into the audience. I don't think she's gonna get that back. Someone's gonna wanna keep that for a souvenir. I know I would. So who does he pick? Who does he decide? He's got some great options up there. I mean, yes, I would like to go out on a date with her. Are you serious? Aw, he doesn't mind that she's standing up there with a wig cap on her head, snarling at his past 38-year-old lover that he cheated on. Charlie! Charlie! 
coming. Sounds like a very promising future. So now the one that you've all been waiting for. I cheated because you're fat. Perfect title that I will use for my title. Everything about her, like, I don't like her skincare. Like, she thinks she's fat all the time, which she, she really is. She's about 260 pounds. <laughs> Damn. I just, I just wanted to tell her, you know, I'm just tired of her being fat. Wait, stop. Since we're calling people fat and talking about fatness and talking about people's bodies and what they look like, who is he to talk? He's not thin. He's just more covered up and wearing loose clothes. He has a goober body just like Mullet Man. It's always the goober guys talking about who needs to lose weight and telling people what they need to change so that they will find them attractive. You. Insecure, asking questions, want to tell me straight up that, you know, she want to lose weight, help her lose weight. You know, especially we just had a six week old baby. First of all, she had the baby. You just, you, you know how babies are made. I don't have to tell you. And if you don't know, ask your mom. Second, she just had a baby six weeks ago. And now you want to tell her that you're tired of her being fat? It does take a while to lose weight, especially if she was not in the best shape before that and she wasn't used to eating healthy, working out. It's gonna take a long time, especially as a baby. Now I can agree with him if she's saying, I wanna lose weight and this and that, but she's not doing what needs to be done. She wanna nag about her weight and everything. Yeah, that's annoying. And I'm all for the pettiness of bringing her on the show to tell her to get her shit together if that's her goal and she's just complaining about it. I would totally do that if I had a chance to be on Jerry Springer if someone was telling me that they wanted to lose weight and they were doing absolutely nothing about it except complaining. Because maybe, just maybe, watching a little old lady say that she wants to beat someone and I'm gonna whoop her up. or the sight of a woman getting their wig ripped off would open this individual's eyes and they would say huh you know what I should probably change my life around and they will stick to their goals and stop complaining to me but I don't think that's what this is I think it's him wanting someone to look a certain way while he looks like goober guy you want to nag about her weight and everything why I don't cuddle with her well why is the point cuddling with you I could just put about three pillows four pillows around me and cuddle with that okay that's funny but if this was my man and I had a baby six weeks ago, take the fucking pillow because I'm leaving you. I don't need this and I'm going to find another place. Wait a minute. Why in the hell would I need to leave? I had a baby. You called me fat. You get out. And yeah, I'm keeping the fucking pillow by your own. So it's not only the fact that he's bothered that his wife is fat, he's also upset that she doesn't cook the appropriate foods for him. Come home, I mean, y'all guys know, y'all want fresh food. Y'all don't want no box food, she cooks me tuna helper. Hold up, let me just look at this real quick. Uh-huh, yep. He's got two legs to walk his ass into the kitchen, so that checks out. And he also, let me just confirm this, yep, confirmed, has two hands to make his own damn dinner. So if he doesn't want whatever the fuck tuna helper is. What is that? I don't know, sir, but that doesn't matter. Whatever it is, you have the ability to change it if you don't want it. I mean, and then it's all gooey and everything. I mean, and, what, I don't, and then she you has to put thing. in the microwave. Yeah, you what? She has to put in the microwave. All right, he got me, I'm curious. What the hell is tuna helper? Ah, it's real. From all the unhealthy things that my family was eating, I never had tuna helper or anything else from the helper family, which is surprising. I didn't even know tuna helper existed. I love how Jerry Springer just increased my education on fine American cuisine. Okay, so the list continues. So not only is he upset that his wife is fat and tired of it, he's tired of her complaining about being fat. He does not like the gooped up goopy tuna helper, but he also, get ready for this, cheated on his wife. You want to see your homeboy, he's not home, but his girlfriend's yes. there. Yes, yes. And when she answered the door, she was actually like stressed out and crying. All right, man, so what'd you do to help your friend's wife get rid of those tears? So I follow her to the bathroom. She joined, and we, I joined her into the bathroom. That's when we made out and we had sex. Quality man. But my question is, why did he bring her here to tell her all this? Well, yeah, I am cheating. And I'm also cheating with Anthony, you know, my good friend, girl, wife, so. How can you do that? You, we planned our child. Why well, would you want to have a kid it, with it me was, it was if right you were happy with me? You right. <laughs> he spoke so confidently out there. And now he has to explain all this to his wife's face. I, I also want you to, you know, move out if you can, you know, find a place. She needs to find a place? He's gonna kick her out after the fat common, insulting her fine American cuisine. She had a baby, he cheated, and she has to find a place. Bitch, I know he ain't right. I know you are mutated in the head. I wish someone said this to me. And this is why there are those late night specials on women who kill, women push too far, women who refuse to take shit anymore. Why are you gonna go have sex with some nasty whore and then come have sex with me? Well, risking me catching a disease and giving it to your child. 
Because at the time I didn't care, I just, I just wanted to get pleased. You don't please me. And yes, he told the truth that day, but once the truth left his lips, he felt a different energy. An energy about to abrupt from his wife's body, so he had to think fast. Quick man, say something that will change the powerful aura coming from your wife's body. You're too big to please me. Good job. Quality man. Anyway, it all ends with them fighting. You're supposed to be working. What? You're man, I take care of my dog. <laughs> show for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If we didn't get to your stereotype in this video, well, there's a good chance that we might get to it next time if I do this video again. Bye. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums.